All right, this is Mark Dame with another can cycle. We're gonna do what they call boring or what I call a reaming cycle. It's a G85. What the G85 does different from a G81, a G83, or a G84 is it feeds down, gets to its depth, and then retracts back up at the same feed rate that it fed down, okay? Now, reamers usually go half this half to a third of the speed of what a drill does, okay? So there's some differences on spindle speeds. You need to kind of keep that in mind. So let's say in this particular case, we're gonna go S of 500 RPM. This is tool number five. So we're gonna just erase that and make that tool number five. Since it's tool five, we want it to be height offset five that it reads. Then instead of a G84, which is a tapping cycle, we're doing a G85, which is a reaming, or sometimes they call it a boring cycle, but we're using a reamer that's gonna feed down to a negative half inch. When it gets there, then it retracts back up. Instead of rapiding, it will retract at the same feed rate that we fed down. So let's say we're gonna feed down at 25 inches a minute. So it feeds down at 25, retracts back up 25, and when it gets to the R plane of 0.1, then it will retract all the way back home. The things that we've changed on this is basically the tool number, the height offset number, the spindle speed, and a feed rate. But the only difference is it feeds down and feeds back up. Now the beautiful thing that we're doing in all these can cycles is just changing very few things we're changing that to G. We have a G81, we have a G83, we have a G84, we have a G85. And we're also gonna talk about a G82 next, but all these have a specific purpose. Whether we're tapping a hole, dribbling a deep hole, spot facing a hole, uh, all those things play into it. And these are what they call the can cycles. If you have any questions, make sure you ask your instructor. Thank you.